Seven. Larry, as always, it is a frenzied atmosphere inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Shift together here from the D line. Here we go now. Space to maneuver at the 40. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45 yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Mahomes will try again on second down. Throw left side complete. It's Hart. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out and they have to start over after the penalty. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He lost two there. And it's third down. Every year I go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Back, back, Detroit! Detroit! Uh -huh. Mahomes now to throw. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. Losing four yards that time. And now it's fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lock behind it. Wow. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll make it a second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. 
get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. chance to pitch that one as he swallowed up in the backfield it's a loss of four now third down well that's the big drawback to this play even if somehow the quarterback pitches it he's not immune to the big hit in this case he kept it and absorbed it anyway here we go now green 39 back to throw he rifles one that's intercepted Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, if you go by the numbers, you'll find as the temperature goes down, so does the passing efficiency. And now that we're in December, even the routine throws are going to be harder for the quarterbacks. And this one, it winds up getting picked off. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. Here we go now. Oh, Detroit. Detroit. Now a handoff here to his running back. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. Here we go now. Watch it now, Barney. Barney. Lumber. Lumber. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Hunt. It'll be a gain of nine and it's a second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Ezekiel Ziggy Ansah with a tackle for loss. Just think he's still learning the game of football. Didn't play a heck of a lot of it in his native country. And at BYU, was just scratching the surface before he hit the NFL. Yeah, from Ghana, where he really liked soccer and basketball. But football's okay for him, right? Yeah, I think it's worked out very well. Drafted on potential. He's realizing it here. The 20. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. With touchdown number eight on the year. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The partner just looking at some of the struggles they've had this season. The playoffs are not in their future. As they start to peer toward the offseason, what moves might they make? I think the running back position. And I know we talk all the time about the NFL being a passing league. But the teams that run the ball effectively, they're the ones that go deep into the playoffs and go to the Super Bowl. They have to upgrade here. And you and I both know in recent years in the draft, people have shied away from taking a runner early. But there's that special one there. I say they go get him. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And 
his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dive. Patrolling the passing lanes. Here we go now. Blue Niner. Detroit. Detroit. Over, 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 over. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. He'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. throw now on first down now they go screen it's complete and he'll get up to the 43 yard line a good convergence there defensively only a yard and it's second down in order for a screen pass to break big a lot of things have to come together and be well executed but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game The play clock's running down. They'll run it now out of the gun. They find some open field here. And now running right through it. That good for 22 and a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit. And receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open. Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. Brings it up just shy of the 25. Showed some of that quickness there on the move. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon as the Chiefs in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. They've got it second and four to start things out. Again with Hunt. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Well, when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. him a new set of downs well after an interception last thing you want to do is go three and out give the ball right back they avoided that yeah you definitely do not want to do that i remember in college i played with a really big time player on defense we ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out he told him 
If you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it pick up first downs. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Inside the 45 at the 43. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. on the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. Whitney Merciless in there to get him and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Gonna need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. fake there to Hunt. Now Mahomes. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that one incomplete. Had some position but couldn't hold on and it brings up fourth down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? And maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And they'll get him down here at the 23. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Let's go. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Third down, they'll try and run for it on the draw. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arrowhead after this. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll look to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. 
And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and 12. Cross midfield to the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Chris Jones in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season. Because oh, here we are in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake, after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. Boy, oh, shifts past you. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. is Hunt, and he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. Sorry, Larry, your hard work appreciated by so many men and women, but not today as we get back to the action in the second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Patriots offense now, they work their way back onto the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throwing here to start the drive. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. 
Rob Gronkowski, 85 yards. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And I think I saw that right. You tell me if I'm wrong. That was just a fly route, just a go. He went. Sometimes speed, just pure speed, is going to win. I don't care how athletic you are on the other side of the ball, but a guy's that fast and he can just take off. If a quarterback has time to throw the ball and release it when he wants to, that's the end result. Nothing you can do about that. He was just a better athlete on that play. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. Here's a handoff to Hunt. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 10 yards there. And about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Fresh set of downs here. run again with Hunt. Oh, he's got a little daylight. <laughs> a big play there for KC. 56 yards on the ground. Now this game's ripe for the taking, and that run, I think it means he wants to take it. Not only does he want to take it, he doesn't care what they're going to do on the defensive side of the ball. You can be prepared for him. He's coming at you anyway. And they'll send the slot in motion left. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Now, that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying it is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. It's a six-yard carry. It does put him just a few yards short of the goal line, but fourth down coming up. Here's Cairo Santos now for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they don't get a touchdown here in this opening drive of the third quarter. But I think you still say mission accomplished as they come away from it with the lead. Absolutely. You've got to apply the pressure here, make the other guys play catch up for a while. And now you just hope your defense can step up and protect the lead. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Watch it now, Marty. Time. 
time running out here on the Detroit, play clock. Detroit. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Goes right side, complete to Gronk. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with Brandon Cooks. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Brandon Cooks with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll begin the drive with Hunt, and not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, and hit them over the top. Second down, here's Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. On play action, it's Mahomes. He's going to let this one go deep. And incomplete. He can't hang on. Would have been a nice catch. Instead, it brings up a fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down, they'll try and run the counter. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. New England on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Play clock winding down. Back to throw here. And he's taken down. A Chiefs sack. 
Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Here's Brad Wing now, standing right on his own five-yard line. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. is Hunt, and he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. second down and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete that would have been a great catch but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. They'll toss it to Hunt. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. He loses four, and it brings up four. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm rubbing my eyes after that play. Did we just see? That runner not get yardage? A big time play by the defense. It does happen occasionally, even against the best running backs who are having big days. And Santos able to put this one up and through. It's good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch right down the pipe, and this game's all even here in the fourth. And he didn't leave much doubt there, did he? Good snap, good hold, and that one was dead center. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And last time they coughed it up. 
led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh, they yeah. only gave up the field yeah. goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think the coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They go play action here on first down. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. You know the key to a good screen pass is, don't you? But you're going to tell me, good blocking? Well, good blocking eventually. The first is good acting. You want to let the defenders go past you, leak out to whichever side or even in the middle where you want to set up the screen, and then you do your blocking. How about the read, though, by the defensive guys? They weren't fooled at all and actually ran with the lineman to where the play was and smothered it for a loss of yardage. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game, and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your muscle. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and 11. Here we go now. Three and 19. Three and 19. They'll drop the throw. It's caught left side by Cooks. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here's Brad Wing now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. And it's taken in at the nine. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bashed it. Super toe. <laughs> Mahomes now on first down. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards there at a Kansas City first down. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. See if they stay on the ground for second down. A toss play to Hunt. Room to run past midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That burst, good for 20 and a first down. I know a lot of coaches like the toss play because they think it can be a real momentum shifter. Get the ball to that back who can get to the corner and turn it upfield. And on this play, that's exactly what they got, including a first down. Hunt gets it on the draw from Mahomes. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Tie game late, and the offense really has to be conscious of the clock here as it's becoming a factor late in this ballgame. 
They'll run it here with Hunt. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. The Chiefs on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Going to give this time to the tailback. And a short pick up here as he'll get up to about the 22-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeout. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe right, even go. in the middle, go, and use their timeouts. Detroit! Detroit! Now a handoff as they run left side. And he's got some space here. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They're probably about one big play from getting into field goal range. I'd go with a two-deep coverage, make sure my safeties are back to cover all of the field deep. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Chris Jones. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. He'll drop to throw, looking deep downfield. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And some room to work. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Now they'll run it on the toss. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Tanked up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? 
Jumping all the way from the outside, maybe getting a little early start in the corner blitz. And the only time it makes sense to give that penalty is exactly as you Detroit, described. Detroit. Otherwise, he should never get that penalty. To throw is Mahomes. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. And he'll be out of bounds, able to take it down to the 40. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Dance class, anyone? <laughs> Did you see the steps between the quarterback and the running That's back what you on need that counter for a good play? counter. You have to have it because you're setting up your blocking. There's a timing element as well, but they have to marry up their steps. Otherwise, that timing gets thrown out the window. Timing was great there and a big run. Now it's Hunt, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. So the D-line's going to spread out. All right, now, look at 56. Turn on now. Green, First green, throw of overtime green, for Mahomes. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for 12 yards into Kansas City first. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts him in field goal Detroit, range, but let's Detroit. face it. They don't want three here. They want six. Well, you, with these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and a game winner in OT. A partner, a great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing pound. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Chiefs, their battle to finish 500 gets a slight lift as they move to 6-8 and eight on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for New England, the season is really nosediving now as they fall to 2-12. and 12. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.